Welcome to this week's edition of Pastor Kumuyi's Story. As you are watching, you will be blessed in Jesus' name. Uh, recently, uh, one of our organists, we have a number of them in Lagos here, he got married. And uh, on a Saturday, and when he got married on a Saturday, that Sunday, he was to play in church. I, I don't, I won't accept if he says, uh, you know, sir, that I just got married, I'm going to do honeymoon. I said, oh, play the organ. You are going to do your honeymoon. The best honeymoon is when you are serving the Lord. The best honeymoon is when you give your life. Let your wife know. The wife you have just got married to, let him know that your life is dedicated to the gospel. Many years ago, Spurgeon, C.H. Spurgeon, was in courtship with the lady that she eventually got married to. And he had been a preacher of the gospel in Britain. And this time, there was a crowd waiting for Spurgeon. And as he was going, he was going with the uh, person, the fiancée. And because of the crowd, uh, this man, Spurgeon, forgot about the woman, about the lady. And just went to the platform. Because of the crowd, they just, you know, tried to get through. And then he went to preach. And the woman could not struggle through the crowd like Spurgeon. And eventually the woman felt hurt, felt embarrassed, felt unhappy that, she, you know, this is the man I want to marry. And he let me, I went to preach. And then went home without even waiting for the meeting, unhappy. Spurgeon finished preaching, made the altar call. People responded, they came to the Lord. Then Spurgeon was looking for the fiancée so that, you know, they can go back home together and uh, the woman could not be found. What was the matter? And then uh, went to the house and saw that the woman has gone to her house. And Spurgeon said, why? Why didn't you wait for me? And the woman said, you know, she got angry. She felt offended. That uh, you left me there. You went to the crowd. Oh, Spurgeon said, let's straighten the matter immediately. Sit down. I'm called, number one, to be a preacher before a husband. We are not married yet. If this is how you will continue to behave and to react against my commitment to the preaching of the gospel, let's break it, let's part now, now. The woman said, I didn't know it is so serious, and said, I'm sorry. <laughs> and the woman consecrated herself, and by the grace of God, they were able to do the work together. You see, a lot of these things disturb people, and they act like thorns. But what are you going to do? Well, what to do is to make sure that you don't allow these things to hinder, charge the people that are rich in this world not to be high-minded. I believe you have been blessed from this story. Please, share to bless others and watch out same time next week for another edition. You are blessed in Jesus' name.